What's going on guys? Twig and Timber Outdoors. Today we're going to cover the top five flies to catch bass on a fly rod. The first fly we're going to talk about is the woolly bugger. The woolly bugger is a streamer that comes in a variety of sizes to catch anything from small little trout up to large pike. Essentially it's a streamer, uniform color, uh, using some marabou that's very lifelike in the water and the bass love it when stripped in. In addition to the woolly bugger, we're going to throw a clouser minnow in there as well because a clouser minnow is another streamer variant, but it has a slightly different feel and movement to it. But essentially, fishing a streamer is very similar in both ways. The next essential bass fly we're going to talk about is the Dahlberg Diver. Okay, the Dahlberg Diver is a usually spun with deer hair, and it's a cool fly because when you strip it in, it shoots down to the bottom, messes around a little bit, and then kind of slowly floats to the top. Bass love this. Now, we're also going to tie in a muddler minnow as another slightly similar but slightly different variation to deer hair spun uh, subsurface flies. Essentially, when you, that also goes subsurface and floats its way up and down as well, like an injured bait fish or even sometimes a frog or a mouse. One fly we actually sometimes don't give enough credit to is a soft body crawfish imitation. Okay, You can have this weighted with lead eyes, you can have it glass eyes, you can have it unweighted and use some form of a swimming action with it as well. Regardless, bass love to eat crawfish. It's just a fact, okay? Especially during pre-spawn seasons, you're going to be able to find bass hitting crawfish like crazy. Check whenever you see catching, when you're catching bass and you see that bass have a, a red lip around the bottom or the top of its mouth, they're eating crawfish. Switch to a soft body variation fly like that and you're going to catch a lot more fish. The next fly we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about the gurgler. Gurglers are very unique looking fly because it doesn't look specifically like anything. Regardless, it's a top surface foam fly that bass like to munch on. It makes a lot of commotion and ruckus on the top of the water. The bass see it, the, the silhouette looks like something edible, and they smash it. A specific bass catching machine designed specifically to catch big bass is the bunny leech. Okay, The bunny leech can also catch pike, he can catch any predatory fish, but it's a really slinky looking, uh, really well moving with a uh, fly with great action, usually tied in larger sizes because it was specifically designed to catch bass. Alright, so check it out in a multitude of colors, chartreuse, purple, white, you name it, they make it. As a bonus fly we're going to talk about today, a foam hopper is irresistible to most fish. Bass are not an exception to that. So if you were to tie a foam hopper on and you're going to uh, fish in anywhere you fish terrestrials, bass, if they live in the area, smallmouth and largemouth, will eat a hopper any day of the week. Alright guys, hopefully that was informative. Those are some of the flies I like to throw that imitate a variety of food sources other than using just simple topwater poppers. Those always work. You're going to catch tons of fish using sneaky peats and top water poppers, open mouth poppers, okay, foam poppers. Those are great, but hopefully if you implement some of these other flies, you're going to find a lot of success catching those big lunker bucket mouths. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, guys, tight lines.